Hi there, I'm Devin from GOB, and this is Eric. And this week we're going to talk about some of our favorite board games, but before that, I'm going to go over the new stuff in stock. There's not a whole lot in stock this week for board games. You shouldn't be all that surprised, because that seems to be the theme for the past, say, four weeks. <laughs> so first off, I want to talk about, talk about a game called Element. Uh, well, it's about elements. Not the five that are in magic, only four of them. Uh, air, wind, fire, and earth. Water. Air, wind... Oh, wait. Air, wind. water, fire, fire and earth. Because air and wind are the same thing. Ha! Basically, it looks like a chess game mixed with the elements. So, looks fun. Cool. Also new this week, uh, for the Ninja Turtles Shadows of the Past Miniatures game, we have the April O'Neil Hero Pack that released. Um, brings everything you need to run April O'Neil in your games. Cool. Complete with Megan Fox. Yep. All right. And the final thing new this week is They Who Were Eight. Eight, like the number. Yeah. Not, not eight, like eight. Or in the, the back, there's an infinity symbol. I don't think they thought this one through when they put the infinity symbol on the back. Uh, basically, I think you're trying to please the different gods by inciting like the jealousy of whatever god and that kind of thing. Ooh. It sounds kind of cool. It sounds, it's got cool looking artwork on it. Yeah, it, it, cool minimalist artwork. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it kind of came in. I have no idea what it is, but it's kind of cool. It does. All right. So that's all that's new this week. Um, So, uh, this week we want to talk about some smaller box games, ones that aren't super expensive and they aren't, you know, gigantic boxes like Devastation Me and that yep. kind of stuff. So, I'll just say Twitch. Small game called Coop. Not Coop. Coop. Not Coop, even though it has a P in it. Does not buy my soup. I want some soup. Oh my god, me too, actually. Alright, so Coop is a bluffing game for, what is it, four two to, to six, two to, two to five? Two to six. Two to six. Two to six players. Um, and the way it works is every player is given two cards, and the card lines up with one of the different leader types. And the leaders all have different abilities that you can do as part of an action on your turn. The interesting part with the game is that you don't actually have to have that specific card to do that action. You can try to bluff everyone at the table and make them think you have that card. Um, though, if somebody calls you out on it, and they're right, you end up losing one of your cards. Once you lose both of your cards, you're out of the game. And the last player standing with at least one card is the winner of the game. Um, really fun one, lots of fun bluffing in that one. Yeah. I've mostly played it with about two... No, for me, I actually never tried it two players. I tried it with three to five. I've tried it and, with two. And it, it is intense. I could imagine. It's... Yeah. it's Trick, you just went three. Yeah. Actually, I've played it with two, I've played it with three, and I think five. Nice. And all the times, it's been a perfect game. It's awesome. Really cool, cool fast paced little yeah. game. Yeah, I've always enjoyed it. Real cool. simple, small little box, easily contained, lots of fun. Cool. Cool. Uh, moving on to my. What do you got? Well, I was <laughs> looking around and I wanted to say, what's a weird one that I have never <laughs> talked about before? So I figured. Tanto Kyore. The best way to explain this one without being R-rated is you are <laughs> gaining favor of the maids in your household, and the person who gains the most favor from their maids is the winner. <laughs> and by favor, I mean loving. Loving. In exactly the way you're thinking. Oh, now, what a game concept. It's not as bad as, like, say, Tentacle Bento, where you're a, <laughs> a tentacle monster trying to take uh, the schoolgirls. This is... You trying to impress the maids, and then the maids give you favors after. Favors. They never say what the favors are. But they're but favors. If you look at the artwork in this game, you probably guess. Favors. Yeah. It's a really fun game. It's a it's a deck building game, you know, much like the DC deck builder and Dominion and those. But it has a really cool like anime style to it, and you know of course the maids are really cool to look at, and ultimately the cards are pretty decent quality. And it's, 
overall it's a really fun game cool so yeah uh and just another one because i was like walking through i'm like hey, what's a game i've never mentioned other than talk to Kyore? uh another fun little kind of p more party game than anything else is utter nonsense now i think i mentioned last week that i'm an actor and being an actor i like to say weird stuff in weird languages or you know say red it just happens to be on the back of this box take my word for it now the whole idea of this is that the judge gets a an accent card redneck german whatever you know new yorker now the whole idea of it is that everyone else will pick a card from their hand and put it down be anything from like a one or two word line to a six or seven line you know paragraph but they reveal it they act out and they talk in the the accent that's on the card and then you get points you depending go. on how good so then they end up they end up acting out the the line on the card based on the accent. Whoever does it best, whoever makes the, the judge laugh the most, whoever picks the completely out of nowhere line. Like there are some that are perfect for some. Sounds like it could be pretty yeah. uh, utter nonsense. You are damn right. So anyway, that's board games new this week. Uh, as well as some of our favorites. As well as some of our favorites. Um, <laughs> we'll be back next week with probably more of our favorites and probably a couple of games in store. We'll see. I'm Devin. I'm Eric. And have a nice night.